smart contract exams. Okay, so this is going to be a four video series. The checklist for this series is, we'll create and execute multiple contract examples. The first one for showcasing Solidity libraries. The second one is on how to deploy and interact with a contract from a contract. The third one is on how to interact with an already deployed contract from a contract. And the final one will demonstrate how the super keyword works. Example 1, Solidity Libraries. Let us create a new contract called Example 1. Set up the base template. Okay, first we will create a library named Math Library. Within that, we will have a function called Multiply, which simply multiply two numbers. The function will be tagged with the external and pure keywords. The external keyword means it can be called from an external contract and an externally owned account. The function will return a number. Within the function body, we will multiply the inputs and return the product as output. Now, libraries are stateless, which means they do not hold any state variables. They are commonly used to modularize codes and also to increase the code reusability. Also, they can be used to modify the behavior of a data type. Let us see how. To use the library, let us create another contract named my contract. Next, we will use the use and for keywords to integrate the library with the uin256 data type. Once this is done, any variable declared using the uin256 will have the multiply function as its member function. Let us create a function to see this in action. The get product function has two input parameters of the type uin256. It is a public pure function that returns a number. Now within the body, we can say a dot multiply and pass in b this will return the product of A and B as defined in the multiply function in the math library. Let us execute this example. Compile the contract. Deploy the my contract contract. Execute get product by passing in two numbers, say two and two, and it should result in four. And it works. So that's it. Thank you.